I lived, and I learned. Taylor Swift sings 85 minutes into the expanded, re-recorded version of her breakthrough 2008 album, Fearless. Less than two years ago, Swift announced she'd be redoing her back catalog to reclaim ownership of her early material after the master recordings of her Big Machine discography were acquired by industry mogul Scooter Braun. The goal of this ambitious undertaking is plain enough. To borrow a phrase from Tim McGraw, when you think fearless, Swift hopes you think Taylor's version. Musicians re-recording their back catalog following behind-the-scenes label disputes is an age-old music industry story. But there is little precedent for an artist undertaking the endeavor in as high-profile a manner as Swift, who has leapt into this project with the big-budget ambition and creative fervor usually reserved for a blockbuster album. In doing so, she's positioned unromantic industry pragmatism as a retrospective celebration of her creative life, part die-hard fan treat, part legacy artist archival reissue, think, the bootleg series, Taylor's version, and part told you so pet project. Swift begins her massive undertaking with Fearless, the album that established her as a crossover star. I don't know how it gets better than this, she sings in the opening title track, now a provocation. But unlike most re-recordings, this time the new versions somehow sound less slick than the original. Her voice feels lower in the mix this time around, but for the most part she's gone to extreme lengths to mimic the polished Nashville textures and soundscapes of the first Fearless. She brought back several of the album's session musicians and even recruited Colby Calais, a primary influence on the 2008 version of Fearless, to redo her backing vocals on Breathe. Swift has clearly studied her vocal intonations on Fearless, down to the awkwardly recreated laughs and hiccups sprinkled throughout, Hey Steven. But her 30-something voice is richer, deeper, and more sure of itself. She embodies her earlier country affectations but only to a point. No longer does she try to make back, rhyme with laugh, on the deep cut, come in with the rain. She has noble reasons to be re-recording her back catalog, but no amount of freedom gets her clean. As is inherently the case when an artist is carbon copying their original recordings, no matter how artfully, it's impossible not to miss the emotional heft and adolescent idiosyncrasies of the original, in all its tinny, mixed for country radio glory. The way, in 2008, Swift's voice broke into its strange Regina Spector meets Shania Twain Twang when she sang, Hey, isn't this EASI, in, You Belong With Me, or the way a teenage Swift delivers the high melodrama of 15, as only a prematurely nostalgic 18-year-old for whom three years is a lifetime can. All data is taken from the source. HTTP colon slash slash rollingstone.com article link. HTTPS colon slash slash www.rollingstone.com slash music slash music dash album dash reviews slash Taylor dash Swift dash fearless dash Taylor's dash version dash 1153454 slash Hashtag Taylor Swift Hash News Weather Hash News Today MSNBC Hash News World Hash News Today Headlines Hash News Today CNN Hash